Well, today we present one of the finest stars of Asia, Danny Chan, who's been at the top of Hong Kong's top 40 for 10 years. His hits are mirrored in other countries right throughout the region. He's a writer and a vocalist, and he's the toast of the perfumed harbour. Geoffrey James caught up with him in Sydney during his recent Australian tour. Hong Kong is the centre of Asian show business, the city where everyone loves a star, where the values of celebrity is akin to perhaps Hollywood of the 40s. It is a place where they come and where they go pretty quickly. Danny Chan is one of Asia's leading stars. It is 10 years since he was discovered in a TVB songwriting contest. For Danny, it's been 10 years of tremendous success and talent. It is a lot of pressure because it's a very small place. You lose your con your privacy easily. I couldn't go anywhere. Uh, for example, I wouldn't say I couldn't go. It makes me very difficult. My circle is, has to be very small and uh, not like in Los Angeles. It's spread out and in New York or Paris. There's so many places to go. How is it for you then moving around Hong Kong, going around Hong Kong, if you just want to be one of the guys and go down to Tim Sa Choi to, uh, to do some shopping? Um, of course it's possible, anything is possible, but I just feel paranoid. And um, because they will just gracefully, you know, serve you. And um, I mean, it's very difficult to explain it, but the feelings is not such a nice feelings because in Sim Sa Choi it's, it's really the, the hot shopping area so everybody will point at you and sometimes they like you they will smile at you smile to you and um, if they don't like you they will just make a little you know gesture like that and then they'll speak out your name loud and and, and you feel just like no privacy, and that's how I feel. Why did you become a singer? I was trying to be a student. I don't know why I was become a singer. <laughs> um, I joined ten, ye ten to eleven years ago. I joined the TVB, Hong Kong TVB a singing contest, and it's it's a song. It's a I write my own music. Everybody writes their own music, original, and um, <clears throat> I won the the, the award, the award. So this was my first exposure, and um, afterwards, the um, the uh, production manager asked me whether I'm interested in joining the the company because they think that I, there was a new image at that time for Hong Kong. Well, you're a star not only in Hong Kong, but right across Asia. And I know that's a particularly demanding job because you need to sing not only in Cantonese, but many other Asian languages. My, my mother tongue is Cantonese, and uh, English is just my second language. Um, and I speak Mandarin. And Korean. That has to be memor memorized, you know. But you do it. I did it in the, in the Seoul Olympic game pre-opening ceremony show with other stars. It was not easy. <laughs> it was very difficult. What about Japan? You've, you've toured Japan? Yeah. Also, all kinds of language. You have to memorize all these words stuck in your mind, you know. But I don't understand what they mean. I just remember it, you know, it memorize sound, it. It sounds like a, like, a, like a tough job, right? I mean, oh, it's very tough. <laughs> Yes, 
人生没有嘲笑，曾相信梦永久。Do you have an interest in making the transition, crossing the barrier between Eastern show business and Western show business? Would you like to make it in the in the States, in Australia, in Britain? This is my、um, dream to one day make it across the line, you know. But it's so not easy. First, the barrier, the language barrier. Secondly, it's、um, will people accept?、Um, A young looking boy from Hong Kong, what they do, what he is going to do in acting or singing, you know, it's very difficult because, like the, it's not racial discrimination. It's not that, but there was a hidden long time that are they ready to accept、um, a foreigners? Like there's a there's a resistance. There's an Asian resistance.